All right, Bob, where do you want to settle? You're going to have to pick somewhere. Resident Evil. This, this is your decision? Right here? Okay. <laughs> Why not? Sure. They have taken everything from me. Everything! Selling updates onto your new laptop. Meaning you got a brand new laptop? Because that is very exciting if that's the case. Alright, so let's, so let's take stock of what we got here. I got two shotgun shells, I've got nine handgun bullets, and I think I remember I made enhanced handgun bullets earlier. And I got the wrench. That is pretty, pretty dang exciting. Congratulations. I'm, pr I'm happy for you. What, what's the... What's like the first thing you're gonna do on your new laptop that you weren't able to do before? Oh, hey, Biohazard. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the follow. Uh, my name's Dan. I'm currently trying to play some Resident Evil 3 and keep the dying to a minimum, but I have no promises here. I've died once, I think, which actually isn't bad. All right, I need to take a look at my map, which is not this button, but I keep pressing the button because I think it is. I think this is the map. Minecraft, that's the first one, you know, that's not a bad decision. Okay, so I needed to get three things for the trolley. I have the part of the oil, but apparently I need another part of the oil. I need a fuse, and there was something else. But I did remember, I just remembered what the last thing I was going to do. I was heading to the substation, because I got the battery out of the statue. So you know what, that's what we're going to go do. I'm going to hold on to the wrench, because I'm not sure where... Because I know I'm going to need it to get the hose. It's pretty exciting. You're going to have to start playing all the good games. Alright, you get away from me. Ow! <laughs> I don't like those things. They are gross. Alright, uh, yes, I think I'm going up here. Thankfully, it doesn't look like those bug things have respawned in here. But anyway, we're taking this lift down, and we're officially heading into new, into new territory. I remember I got down here, and I got spooked, and I'm like, nope, I'm going to go save. So let's see what we got. I hear plain old zombies. I'll take those extra 30 bullets. That's pretty generous of them. All right, let's, uh, okay. My my thing auto-aimed at, at a an explosive barrel off screen. God, get off me. This is not good. We're gonna, we're gonna take a shotgun shot at them. Okay, one of them is spitting stuff at me, and I don't like that. Not into the spitting. Yeah, I kind of figured that they weren't all dead. I think I need another shotgun shot. They're closing in on me. Okay, I th just think I just took out three of them. Let's reload while we're here. Before we take out this last guy. Alright. Are they dead? I don't know. I know that I'm in orange caution though. So we got that going for us. Pretty normal. Uh, you know, yes. But preferably only the ones that are, you know, in sight. And that are going to be useful to you. Because I'm not convinced that the red barrel I shot there really killed anything, because there were still a lot of zombies that I had to kill. And there's still one more. Alright, I think she's dead. I keep pressing this button and I don't know why. <laughs> I also hope they're dead. Alright, um... 
So there's two doors to the substation here. Oh, is she not dead? Now are you dead? Please? Block from the other side. She's still not dead. Holy crap. I guess it's a good thing they gave me all those bullets because I needed all of them. She's still alive! The god zombie that just won't die. It was a very insistent zombie. That one just did not want to, to didn't want to let the death keep. I guess that's kind of the point of a zombie though, so I guess kudos to her for her hard work and dedication. Alright, I, I wanted to look at the map. Okay, nothing. This feels like an area I'm gonna get attacked by Nemesis. I'm telling you, I'm calling it right now. It's... This is, this area is just screaming, hi, my name is Nemesis and I'm here to hurt you. Oh, is that ammo? I hope it's ammo. Gunpowder B. That's all shotgun shells. This is three sets of shotgun shells right here. Because if I take a look at this, I don't have a grenade launcher yet, so I'm not convinced that I need to worry about like saving one type of ammo for something else. But the only other thing I could use B for aside from shotgun shells is to make acid rounds, but I don't have my grenade. So we're going to we're going to turn all of these into shotgun shells right now. We're getting better. Now we can make 8. There we go. 23 shotgun shells. I'm going to need them. All right. So this door is locked. An old emergency exit. The rusty knob won't turn. Of course not. Okay, we got big glowing red button there. There's a transformer that supplies power to the facility. It seems to be set to auto mode. Okay. Low voltage control room. The rock lock will be released at 15 to 25 volts. High voltage control room. The lock will be released at 115 to 25 volts. Okay. And that's all we got here. So this is the puzzle, I guess. When operating the transformer, be sure to set this power transmitter to manual mode. The old system is prone to short-circuiting. Be careful not to set, let it exceed maximum levels. Will you set this device to manual mode? Yeah. Okay. Let's go into the low voltage one first. 15 to 25. Almost back up to the GF reveal. Take it away from Yeet. Okay, uh, okay, so it starts at 50. I'm a little confused, so let's... Okay, that adds 15. Takes away 10. Takes away 15. Takes away 20. Okay, I'm not sure what I just did there. Yeet has to be the one to do it. Take the fuse. Okay, that that right there. Zombies just busted in. Should I just wait here for the zombie to just, like... I don't like that. Uh-oh. Many zombies have busted in. What are my options here? I'm scared. Head. T We're gonna in increase the electricity output. Yeah, there we go. Worked out great. Although, does this mean that I can no longer open this door? Meters seem to be out of order. Yeah. Okay, I get it. I get it. DDR needs to be one of the streams that we do together? Oh no. That would be a sad, sad stream. 
Voltage number has been changed possibly due to the short circuit. Will you push the switch? Yeah, yeah. sure. Apparently, I did it first try both times, so you know what? I'm okay with this. <laughs> and the door stays open on the other one. Alright, anything in here? This room looks exactly like the other one. Ooh. Ooh. Will I take the grenade launcher? Hell yes, I'll take the grenade launcher. I would be a fool not to. Okay, I think that's all that's in here. But we got ourselves a grenade launcher, so you know what? I'm pretty happy about that. I'm probably going to blow myself up with it, but, you know, at least I'll blow up a bunch of zombies, too. Why would the DDR stream be sad? Because it's me. And I'm not entirely sure Abby would be too great at DDR, although she is better than me at Guitar Hero, so, you know. Even though I did get the higher score on uh, Through the Fire and Flames. I played it just as much as you played it. You played it more than I did. No. Whatever you, whatever you want to say, my dude. The turning mechanics. Yeah. I will say, though, I, I don't... I, I do really like this game. I haven't really had any complaints about this game. It is a good old classic Resident Evil game. I knew exactly what I was getting into with turning it on, and it has not disappointed me at all. And even though I was really scared when I put it on hard mode, I'm not, you know, I'm not getting destroyed. Although I may wish to... I may wish to shoot these guys. At Tetris. I have never played... I'm really just not good at Tetris. It's just a game that I do not have much talent in. Okay, there's another one over here, right? Ow. Die. Okay. Well, time to heal. I am in danger. Not anymore, though. Tetris is just a game I was never very good at. And I don't know why. Maybe I just didn't play it enough. Okay. Uh, we have a boatload of shotgun shells now. Let me reload my gun. No, I didn't. I didn't take my shotgun shells. Probably one of the games that you could beat me in. Probably. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised. There are probably a few games that I could be beaten in. It's fun when you get to learn it quick and competitively. Alright, we're gonna put the fuse away, and we're gonna put the grenade launcher away for right now. I may need it at some point, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. So let's see what our other options are. So I'm still so I think this is sealed off because I didn't take an option. And I think it's the same case for up here with the reporting office. I think there was a choice. I, th I, I was wondering about this, so I looked just this part up, and they said that if I didn't get attacked by Nemesis in the restaurant, I would have been attacked by Nemesis here. And that this pathway is only accessible if you get attacked by Nemesis and take the escape option. So I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to... I think we're going to he continue heading backwards. Oh, I have the power cord. Okay, so I need to find whatever the other oil is. So I'm not going to save yet. I'm going to get to the next save spot and then save. I'm just waiting for something to come out of this elevator. This is very quiet in here and I don't like it. That's just unnerving. Nemesis! Alright, so... We are... 
Okay, we gotta get to the sales office. So I'm gonna head down here. Okay, I pretty much only have one way to go. Oh god, the birds. Not again. <laughs> get me out of here. <laughs> I hate the birds. <laughs> have I played Amnesia? I've played the first one. I've played Amnesia the Dark Descent. I have not played a Machine for Pigs or the new one that came out last year. Do I have room for this blue herb? I do. We'll take it. Alfred Hitchcock, The Birds. I need to see that movie. Okay, now I can use the wrench to get the hose. I will gladly take the fire hose. I no longer need this wrench. Will you discard it? Sure. I, that's probably one of the nicest things that they added, is when you no longer need an item. They're like, you don't need it anymore, just toss it. Alright, I hear... squishing. Oh, nice. I don't like the jumping. I could do without the jumping. Oh no, get off me. Are you dead? Okay, they're dead. I don't like the jumping. The jumping is is the worst part of this. <laughs> he made a movie. I've never heard of the snails. I've heard of the birds. I haven't heard of the snails. All right, so I still don't know how to get in there. Down there. I don't even remember what route, what building that is there that's locked. And then there's some kind of a blockade there. But I think this is what's blocked by the fire, so that's where we're going to go. Caught a snail yesterday. What's up, Cracker? How you doing? There is a way to quickly turn. I, I did it accidentally while I was getting attacked. Oh no. Oh, did that work? Did that actually work? I mean, I'm out of shotgun shells now, but hey. I took out the dogs. So you know what? I'm. This is a trade I will take. Two shotgun shells for three dogs? Heck yeah. Okay, so this is the way I want to go. All right. So we're gonna take the hose. We're gonna attach it. Yeah, there you go. Easy peasy. All right. What do we got? Just, just nothing. Okay. I guess anything that's there would have burned, to be fair. Maybe I should have saved. I'm gonna go save. I think it's time. Because I believe there's a save room, like, right here. Okay, uh, we're going to put this blue herb away, because I don't need it. I need to pull out my shotgun shells, because I need to reload my shotgun. And I'm going to pull out the ink ribbon, because I need to save. Okay. Progress is saved. I only have six ink ribbons left, so I don't want to be too uh, save happy. Oh, I don't have anything to heal with, so I'm going to grab a green and a red herb, and I'll mix those together. There we go.
continue forward. There isn't anything like here that I can grab, is there? This isn't like a little alcove. No? Okay. Just checking. On to the new area. Slugs movie, but not a snails movie. I kind of missed Hitchcock's era. They just want to turn anything uh, into a horror movie. There was a Piranhas movie as well. I mean, there's Sharknado, which is Abby's favorite movie. There are like four Sharknados. I think there's even. I think there's actually more than four. It's your sister's favorite. It's her favorite stupid movie. There's a difference. Sometimes stupid movies are the best movies, though. Alright. Yeah, there's definitely something. Oh, one of you. I don't like you. Uh, okay, once again, we have decided to aim for the flaming barrel. Okay, at least he's dead. Will I take the crank? I will take the crank. Alright, there's another one. I can hear it. Come on. I can't be missing these shots, man. Are you dead? Please be dead. Thank you. Definitely could have gone better. That's for sure. I hate those things. His favorite stupid movie is The Room. It's an easy pick. Hey, The Room is a great movie. I don't know if I can subject myself to seeing it again. The Zambi is talking. What is up, Yeet? I have not taken my shower yet. I'm going to take one later tonight. Just shoot him! Okay, you're wasting bullets now. Murphy. Why? No. No. <laughs> Ripped Murphy. Carlos. What with the werewolf uncle? I'm afraid I do not know this one. Hey, uh, you got any bullets on you, my f my friend? I mean, can I have some of those bullets that he, like, wasted on you? Because I need bullets. Business facts. Order sheet. The liquid medicine named VTJ98 is suitable to cultivate the NET type of virus. Therefore, we will need to order additional quantities of it. UE6 Laboratory. Taking the business facts. Okay. Yeah, first aid spray. I'll take that. For sure. Uh, what else we got? There's a computer here. Umbrella security system. First class medical storage room security authorization. Current status locked. Please enter password and then press the return key. Enter password. Um. Wesker. Error. Invalid password. Okay, fine. Okay, so I need to find a password. What is my least favorite thing about New York? Um... Hmm. I don't like that Upstate New York and New York City are both very different, but, like, Upstate New York basically just goes by whatever New York City says, and then whenever you say people, hey, I'm from New York, they immediately assume you're from the city. I don't like New York City very much. It's... I always get stressed when I go there, so... 
it's very expensive. So yeah, my least favorite thing about New York. The what? The drivers are insane. The drivers? Yeah. No. Yeah, no. Uh, New York City. Then my answer to that is New York City. There you go. <laughs> it's obscure. Oh, the the werewolf uncle movie. Yeah, I've never heard of this one. Before you begin your new position, please allow me to give you some adv advice. Some of the medicine in the storage room are unstable and their quality will deteriorate under changing temperatures or humidity. Therefore, you must remember to keep the temperature the same in the storage room at all times. You should personally check it every day. Although the computer checks it around the clock, a machine is not perfect. Try and remember that a machine is no more than a tool to be used by people. You must check all personnel going, coming and going to the storage room. Many dangerous drugs are stored there. If any of them are missing, you have a serious problem on your hands. The door to the storage room is always locked, but when you let personnel into it, you will need to have them hand in their documents. And above all else, remember that if you find something, anything suspicious, contact your boss immediately. If you forget the password to lock the door, try and remember that it is a word that everyone is familiar with. Don't forget that once a new product is shipped, the password will be updated again. You can always enter the password from the terminal of the PC for administration. Word that everyone is familiar with. Will I use the remote control? Yes. Wait a second. Okay. Ready for some for some big brain plays here? Ooh, ink ribbon. I'll take that, gladly. I think I know what the password is. Why is there a hacker in every first game? Maybe there are hackers in every game. Then it would have to, have to by definition, the first game would always have a hacker, my dude. Proud of myself for that one. High temperature steam pipes. Okay, so if I break these, then the entire room will... Liquid nitrogen pipes, okay. Can't carry any more items. Can I? Can't I? Oil additive. Okay, that's something I need. I'm scared. I think I was right to be scared. Why would these zombies be trying to get in here right now? Why am I getting flashbacks of my cat going through the blinds? I don't know if I want to purposefully shoot these pipes, or if I want to... Oh, I made a mistake. I made a very big mistake. Alright, I'm gonna try and just bust through here for a second. Don't mind me. Okay, that worked a lot better than I hoped it would. <laughs> Commit atrocities in Nan King. Don't do it. Get off. I just need to get... Oh no, am I dead? Oh. I didn't think I was that low. 
That sucks. Lord, I thought you were laughing at my death. No. I'm not even paying attention right now. Thank you, buddy. Wow. Uh, I don't think I lost too much progress, but still, that kind of sucks. Oh, I still have the ink ribbons in on my on my person, but I guess that's fine. Oh, I have the ammo too. I don't want to carry the ammo. It was fine if I was carrying the ink ribbons because I pick up more in that office. But I don't want to be carrying my shotgun shells, and I guess I may as well put these away. And then I need something to heal with. I'm just gonna take this. Launch America's arsenal at Africa, but why Africa? I feel like of all the continents, Africa's not a threat. This is questionable. Okay, I've got a crank. I need my shotgun. Fire at will. God. Once again. I dodged! Okay, you're dead. There are French people in France, too, in Europe. To be fair. Not that I'm exactly condoning that you launch nukes at Europe, either. Okay. This game has skippable cutscenes. It's already better than, uh, it's already better than Final Fantasy X. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm getting very close on Final Fantasy X to having everything ready. Uh, I will probably be able to do the end game content for you guys on in the near future. France has the Tour de France. Yeah, Yuna is currently maxed out. She she's dealing she's dealing a hundred thousand damage with each of her hits. Uh, Titus, Riku, and Waka are also all maxed out. Uh, Lulu, I'm working on Lulu, and who else? I mean, Oren. I, ha I just haven't touched Orin since I started grinding everything. Uh, and Kimari... Kimari has a long way to go. Lulu's maybe about halfway there, I would say. But I would say within a week, I should be ready. I got a lot of good work on it done today, during work. Now the real question. Uh-oh. Okay, I've got the oil additive. And then the Zambies. Have I played Blitzball? Not since I stopped. <laughs> Not since I didn't need to anymore. I've I've grown past Blitzball. It is no longer a requirement. And I will never play it again. Alright, let me pull this. Okay, she's just gonna aim at this. So you know what? I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna wait for them to get close enough that I can shoot this. I just 
booty cheeks. Yeah. Backing up. All right, I can run past you. What's my health at? Okay, I'm only in yellow caution, so I'm gonna try this. It's booty cheeks. Not of the Aztecs. That is that is not not one that I've. Committed genocide yet against. Not yet, anyway. Who knows what games I end up playing next. Okay, I did not want to hit you. I wanted to take out this dude. Okay, we're going out. There's another lady here. I want out of here. Family-friendly genocide. That's what we do here. Okay, my health is okay. Let me grab a drink real quick. What is up? Deck? D-E-C? Deck1802? Thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, if you don't know, my name is Dan. I play a lot of different games. I let people vote for my games. Uh, currently I'm playing Resident Evil 3. It's going great. I've only died twice, so you know what? That's actually not bad for me. Quote number 10. You know, I had a quote from the last stream that I'm surprised you didn't quote me on. It was something along the lines of, uh, I love listening to the to the screams of the dam and didn't unison. Oh, come on! I don't... I'm just gonna turn. I'm, I'm running. I'm running. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. See you later. He just launched a rocket launcher at me. Now hold on. Let that just the, the, let the rocket just kind of float in the air behind me for a second. <laughs> While I open this door. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do now? Cuz I can't I can't go in. He, I'm in a dead end. There's a bunch of zombies one way and Nemi the other way. Yeah, I figured you fell asleep. I'm always kind of happy when you fall asleep at the end of the stream, though, to be fair, because it means I know you got some sleep. I'm just going to run past you real quick, my dude, if you don't mind. No, no shooty, no shooties, no shooty shoots. <laughs> We're just going to do no, none of that. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if I can get where I need to from here, though. I need to get over there. I need to get back to the trolley. I can't from here, so I have to go back in there. And make a run for the tro and make a one more time past him. Oh, he's right here! Ow! Stars. You're a cannibal. Are you Kesha? You always like to say very random things, my dude. Okay, so the music just like kicked up. Is is Nemesis like right behind me? Yes, he is. <laughs> I'm like, hmm, the music is just really kicked up for a second there. Yeah, it's because I'm being chased. <laughs> you get better sleep quality when you sleep less. Oh, I'm still being chased. Which way am I supposed to go? I just want to know. Okay, I'm turning left. It's, this is a, one, a single lane alley. There, I literally can't get lost here. Who is Kesha? I think, I think Kesha's in my chat right now. Under the guise of Yeet Child, the cannibal. I am still being chased! Yeah, he, yeah, I, I, I noticed that too. I hear, I hear Nemesis. As I'm being chased by the birds, I think I'd rather deal with Nemesis than the birds, if I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I hate the birds so much. Oh, this is where I'm going to get attacked by Nemesis. He's going to come through the elevator, ain't he? Uh, I enjoy flashing in and out of existence here. Oh, no, there's a giant pit in the floor. Okay, that's that's not what I was expecting. Oh, 
Oh no, what do I have to, what are my options here? I don't know what's happening. Climb up or jump off? Uh, jump off! I didn't break an ankle, so we got that going for us. But, uh, it looks like we're stuck down here now. Doors are impressive. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Oh! Great! This is... There's a lot of things that are happening here that I'd really rather they didn't. Like the snake that's coming at me in the water. So, I'm sorry, snakes, plural. Am I poisoned now? No, I'm fine, okay. I do have a blue herb on me. This this entire whatever the fuck this thing is, this is this is all like a big no from me. I just don't want anything to do with that. Uh yeah. If we if we could could abstain from that for just a second here. Will I go up the ladder? Yes, hopefully. <sighs> we just went through quite a lot. What's up, my dude? He was apparently Oh, I I know where I am. The nastiest shot ever. Clip it. Okay, now can I go around the hole? It's Nemesis. Where where is my friend? It's lonely without him. Okay, we're in a safe spot. I'm feeling so safe right now. I'm feeling incredibly safe. We're gonna drop. We're gonna trade out this blue herb. We're gonna grab this green herb. Uh, I don't know what the crank is for, so I'm gonna be honest with you. But let's save. Oh yeah, Yeet, if you wanna take a look at my poll, and uh, let me know which one you want to add to the add the votes. I'll add your I'll add your vote as a comment under the tweet under the tweet under the tweet. Crank that soldier boy, you. All right, so I got a lot of herbs, which is good. Healing is always good to have in excess of. So I got the machine oil, and I need to combine that with the oil additive. All right, we got the mixed oil. Wish you could. Uh, PS4 walked into a hallway, did a 180 with a scope pistol shot, and then nailed a loser in the face hole. <laughs> Twatter, you know what? Yeet. After this stream, I will go and I will make it for just for you that the Twatter command will also work. But right now, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to do Twitter. But I will I'll make Twatter an option. That's such an easy fix for me to do. It's a fix. Let's be fit. Let's be real here. It's a fix. That's a feature that should have been in there from the beginning. You vote for hello neighbor. All right. I will. I will put that as a comment underneath the stream, or underneath the tweet as a as a, an unofficial vote but it will be counted i think at the moment secret of monkey islands in first and dragon quest 11 is just right behind it okay so i needed what i don't know i don't know what the crank is for i don't know if i should put the crank away or hold on to it i know i need the power cable and the fuse i think i'm gonna put the crank away I hope I don't regret it. And now we need to head back to the trolley. I don't know why you gotta be so mean to, to Mike. He's just trying to help. Okay, so the trolley's way over there. I got I got quite a bit of distance that I need to, to make to get back there. Bob is feeling good. He, I felt him twitching in his sleep, and now he's stretching out. His cheek is all squished up against the uh, the couch, so he's being very cute.
Not this way. I want to go this way. He is a good boy, for the most part. Theo is not usually a good boy. Although, Theo has picked up a very cute habit lately. Where, uh, we had this, like, kind of a bed thing. It's more like a sack that's got fur. Um. It's like a fur-lined sack. And he never had much interest in it. We've had this thing pretty much as long as we've had him. And he just never really cared about it. And then all of a sudden, he's decided, I really care about this thing. And so now he will pick it up and drag it around the entire apartment. I don't know, I don't know why. He'll just pick up the bed, drag it. He'll keep stepping on it, so he'll keep, like, slipping and tripping over it. And he'll just drag it off into the bathroom, bring it onto the the mats, and then, like, sit there and bite it for a couple couple minutes. And then he'll get bored of that, and then he'll drag it back out into the living room and then continue to bite on it. He's such a weird cat. Okay. Oh, the birds! My favorite! It is really cute. We took a video of it this morning. I don't know... We can see if we can try and upload part of it t to the Instagram, but... My Instagram manager hasn't done... Oh, why are you here? Why are you here? I don't want you to be here. Pay your taxes, Nemesis! <laughs> Ow! Alright, we're just gonna... I don't want to deal with this. We're just gonna... 180 here. No, 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 no! Ow! As I get punched in the back of the head. Hit another nasty shot. Nice. Always good when the, when you hit those shots that just feel good. Alright, I don't have the health to... to try juking around this dude. I think I can get past you. And you. Alright, we're good. Nemesis really seems to like me, don't he? Now what? What is happening? Is the floor gonna crack here too? Apparently so. Okay, that's a thing. That is a big thing. I have no idea where the hell I am. Can I leave? It's a switch for the elevator of the ladder. It seems that it's not functional due to lack of power. Well, that... The hell's happening? Oh! Ow. Ow. Emergency power supply. Turn it on? Yes. Okay, I turned it on. Can I press this one? No. I have to turn on the other power supply, so I need to lure the thing down here. Ah, I have to lure the thing down here and then run back here. Ah! I don't like this. I pushed the switch. Elevator. <laughs> Please get me out of here. <laughs> Gonna go play some ranked. I hope that your nasty streak continues, my dude. God, that was awful. I hated. I hated everything about that. That was just awful. I don't. I don't want to do that again. Can we? Can we not? Can we? Can we not and say we did, please? I have no more health, so I hope that this, they're taking me to another safe area after I take this trolley. All right. So let's see. Carlos ran off because he killed his friend. One dude is still bleeding here, dying out, and then Nikolai. The leader I don't trust in the slightest. Hey, content. What is up, my dude? Thank you for the raid. I love you, my dude. Uh, 
we're still playing Resident Evil 3. We just screamed a little bit as we were getting chased by something in the sewers. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know me, my name is Dan. I play a lot of different games, and I let people vote on which games I play next. Uh, I, lo I love I love the support, my dude. Content, you're awesome. You you're great. Can you hit can you content with a uh, shout out? I want to see if we can get some clips up here of him. I don't think I've seen any of his clips. Some of the parts are out of order. Okay, I got the power cable, I got the fuse, and I got the oil. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. If by some act of God Potato falls asleep, I'm dunking on him. It hey Potato, the subscription. I'll, I'll give you each ten dollars. You got it. How are how are you doing, content? I saw I saw you went on and you were I think you were doing Mugen. I haven't played Mugen in years. Carlos? I'm sorry about Murphy, but there was nothing you could have done. Yeah, you're right, Jill. I'll operate the cable car. Uh, Nikolai won't be joining us. Come on, let's go. Carlos and his... Where's your gun, my dude? Is it all out of bullets? I bet it's all out of bullets. Useless. Never snooze. It was SB. Stands for Salty Bet. What it's is good. what is Salty Bet? Every time you get in a cable car in a Resident Evil game, it always goes bad. You always get attacked by some horrible monstrosity. Oh. Now it looks like the blue. The bleeding dude in the back is the victim this time. Also, ignore the fact that we're just like shifting in and out of existence. The emulator is <laughs> it's having a day. All right, I got nothing to heal with, and I haven't saved too recently. It's gambling on AI-controlled movement characters. Interesting. Oh, the monstrosity. Ow. Can I get up, please? Oh no. Can I get past him, please? And then, like, Carlos. No, 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 that's not good. I think I'm dead. <sighs> I am super dead. Sounds like. A, I think it sounds like exactly the kind of place that you would go, Mike. What do you guys? What do you? What are you gambling on? What do you? What? What are you betting? Oh, I hope I didn't lose too much progress with that. I think I have to go through the sewers again, but I think other than that, I think that's about it. I also have to organize my inventory again. I remember thinking to myself, if I die now, I'm gonna have to reorganize this again. in tiered matches. Yeah, but I guess I'm, I I I guess I'm just confused about Are you just like just guessing for fun? Or are you betting like channel points of some type? Okay. I need the fuse, the oil, and the cable. I have to combine these, I have to combine these. Alright, so I don't know if I'm going to have to fight this dude or not. So we're going to do the following. I'm going to take this. Okay, 
gonna go with that. You're betting salty bucks. Okay, I don't think I know what a salty buck is. Can I move things around? Can I like reorganize them? No. I would love it if I could have my gun up here. Alright. Betting top dollar. I'll have to make sure I see the next one when you guys do it so I can understand it a bit better. Because I, I saw you go live like as I was getting prepped to go on my stream. I'm like, well, I can't, I can't watch. Okay, I gotta go this way. I always keep going this way first. And I don't know why. They're made-up currency that you get from the website. I see, okay. I see, I see. Alright, so we need to go this way. I'm trying to remember what obstacles I came across. So I got this dude that I have to juke. And then it's not here, but it's... Well, there's birds in the next area, and then I'm going to come face-to-face -face with Nemesis again. These dang birds. Nemesis is going to attack me at the end of this area. Uh... I wish I grabbed more health. That would have been the smart thing to do. I'm gonna go grab more health. What does P stand for? In the, for the lowest tier is called the P tier. Why? What does the P stand for? Ugh. All right, I'm grabbing extra health because I don't know if I have to stand and fight against Nemesis. All right, we're going to put this away for just a second while I grab. I only have one more red. That kind of sucks. Piss, obviously. <laughs> There were a number of words that it could have been. I didn't have didn't have to necessarily be pissed here, but okay. <laughs> What's the plural of nemesis? I think it's nemesis with an e. It's with e s at the end instead of i s. There's also a one of the final bosses of Final Fantasy X I, is also called Nemesis, so you know, this is fitting. Alright, we're going to have to try and juke Nemesis here. I'm going to guess I'm going to get punched at least once. I think one punch is acceptable. If I get punched a second time is when I'll be upset. Okay, we got it. Alright, this is the alleyway where... No, it's the next alleyway where I fall into the sewers. Nemesis is the scary one-punch man. Except I survived one punch, so he's clearly a faker. Yeah, I don't know what this game is in about random earthquakes like dropping me into holes, but this is the second time it's happened in the past like half hour. Ah! Uh. Saitama's way scarier. Such an interesting anime. Alright, so we got this thingy. I don't like you. 
Just gonna throw that out there. I think you're you're grody. Push the switch and then back up. And I got bit anyway. I got bit twice. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna heal. Because now I have to. Run! Okay, now we get out of here. Of course I'm going up the ladder. <laughs> uh, I don't like this. I'm scared I'm scared about what I'm supposed to do once I get on the on the trolley again cuz I don't know if I can turn into the room or if I actually have to square up with Nemesis. I don't want to have to square up with Nemesis. He scares me. All right. I not lined up with it. Here's your fuse. Here's your oil. Here's your power cable. Skip the cutscene. Because we've seen all this already. We wouldn't have to see it again if I wasn't an idiot. Although I was more just unprepared than anything. Are you going to come in and help me, Carlos? Hey, what's going on in the back? Nope, you're just going to... Okay. Let me go deal with it then. Mikhail! Stars. I'm just going to turn around and leave. Jith, get out of the cable car now! Mikhail, wait, don't! Get out of here! Hurry! Good. A dating game. Oh no, not Mikhail. Uh oh. Well, he at least succeeded in blasting him off of the cable car. So you know what? Thank you. You did a good job, my dude. Play a dating sim with Nemesis as a senpai. It's no, disgusting. Uh oh. We have a choice to make here. Jump out or use the use the emergency brake. You know, it came to a stop a lot better than I thought it was going to. They really like the, the moaning transition right now, and I don't know why. Okay, where am I? Oh boy, it's a clock tower. Oh, and there are birds. My favorite. You know what this game needed? More fucking birds! I hate them. I hate them so much. Okay, I'm taking the green herbs. I'm leaving the useless blue ones. What does the room look like here that I'm dealing with? Okay, that door's locked, so I'm going over here. <laughs> Get me away from these things. I hate them. The birds are the worst thing in any Resident Evil game. Where the hell am I? Can I play the piano? Okay. So this door over here is locked. A clock is etched under the keyhole. Okay.
Ah, a safe room. Definitely gonna save. Will you take the clock T key? I'll take that, for sure. There's an altar. And an organ. Never mind the fact that we had a piano uh, in the other room. Now we've got an organ, too. Oh, no. I don't feel safe anymore. The safe room doesn't feel safe. Okay, so I didn't end up needing my magnum. Give me that ink ribbon. Yes, I will gladly save. Get me out of here. Okay. You know, they haven't given me many bullets lately. I'm gonna need some soon. Oh no. Let go of me. I'm going inside. They just, this is just non stop, like, attack after attack now. How'd you get in here, Carlos? I don't believe it. You're alive. I'm not sure how we're gonna get out of this town. What are you talking about? We made it! You don't get it. They have no intention of letting us make it back alive. Do you really think we can trust their great evacuation plan? Huh, it's just a piece of paper. But we don't have any other choice than to trust them right now. No, if we're gonna die, then we should get to choose when it happens. Ugh! <laughs> so that's it then, huh? You're giving up? No. I just... I can't handle it. There's zombies that way. Like, there's a lot. Alright, sure. <laughs> just no hesitation. Smacks him in the face. Nothing in the fireplace. Okay, at least I checked. Who lit all the candles, and why is there a fancy dining room next to the chapel? Alright, I'm gonna guess that if I open this door and go in here, there's just gonna be a swarm of zombies, ain't there? Yeah, I would like them to leave, let me walk around for a little bit. Build up some anticipation, you know? But no, I just, I turn one corner and I fall into a sewer and get attacked by a giant worm monster. I walk into the parking garage, fall into another sewer and get attacked by some snakes and see a gross looking pod thing. And I turn another corner, Nemesis is there for the 10th time, reminding me that he likes stars. Ooh, wait a second, what's this? Will I take the mind thrower? Wait a second, what's a mind thrower? He's holding something in his hand. Operation instruction, handy! Order for UBCS Echo Team. Wipe out the downtown area of the infestation and then evacuate the remaining citizens to the clock tower. Among the civilians, remember to give priority to the employees of Umbrella's affiliates. Remember to stay alert because the infected have a high endurance rate and will strike without hesitation. Evacuation procedure. Once the mission is complete or when it becomes too impossible to accomplish, evacuate immediately. We'll deploy a helicopter that is waiting in the suburbs to the yard in front of the clock tower. When you are ready for evacuation, ring the bell of the clock tower to signal the helicopter. Alright, gotta go ring the bell and tell the whole crowd. Mercenary corpse, you might have died fighting. Okay, so we got some stairs. We have a desk with first aid spray and something else on it. I will take that, thank you. Clock tower map. I will also take that. Okay. There's another safe area. I'm gonna need that. Can we look at the map again? Okay. 
More blue herbs. Okay. So that leads back out to where the birds are. I'm going to go take a quick glance, see if there's anything else of value in the area, because I kind of grabbed some herbs and then ran. Because fuck the birds. I hate the birds so much. I just don't know if there's anything else of value here. I don't think so, so I'm going to leave. Hopefully I don't get attacked again. Okay, we're out. We're out of here. I hate, I hate the birds. I hate them. Worst part of this game. <sighs> okay. So we can either take the stairs up or go explore the rest of the clock tower. Valen would be a bit sad to hear me say that, you know? If he could help me control the birds, then it wouldn't be so bad, but I get the feeling that he wouldn't be able to do much for me. All right, we're going to actually go up the stairs first, because I think they're going to lead me to a dead end, and I like going to the dead ends first. That is a giant-ass spider. Why do there always have to be giant spiders, too? Oh, there's little ones. Ew. It was pregnant. I'm trying to squish them. Am I po getting poisoned by them? I don't think so. Squish. Squish. Okay, am I still fine? I'm still fine. Okay. I see it. I don't like that the legs are undulating here, my dude. I'm pulling out my gun and I'm shooting you one more time. <laughs> okay, I think you're dead. The fact that they look like high th thigh highs. I just don't like them. Oh no. Okay, I didn't mean to shoot that, and now I'm out of ammo. Did that kill it? It's dead. Okay, works for me. Fuck these spiders. I don't like that they undulate after they're dead. That's really unsettling. A fixture that lights the hour plate of the clock. There's a keyhole in the or on the ornamental copy plate. Co Push the switch. Yes. Okay. Oh. I don't know I don't know what my options are here. Use the light. He's blinded. Oh nice. <laughs> you know what? That worked out great. Am I poisoned? I am poisoned. I'm like, why did I suddenly like, get in pain. It's because I'm poisoned. Uh, can I die from poison? I'm gonna... I'm gonna heal myself up. So I'm fully healed, but I'm gonna have to go take a blue herb to heal myself up. I thought I wasn't poisoned. Alright, so I need a key. There were blue herbs on the main floor. The floor is wet. Thank you. Just remember, if you're ever being chased by a big giant monstrosity, push it off of a clock tower. And then it won't be chasing you anymore. You're welcome.
playing on a Minecraft server with me. See, one of the problems with Minecraft is that I get bored of it very quickly. Okay, I'm no longer poisoned. I get bored of Minecraft, and so I have to play, like, modded. And then I would have to, like, buy uh, a dedicated server. Because right now, whenever I play with my friends, or when I play with my family, I just host it locally on my computer, and I can't do that all the time. This is beautiful. One of our old laptops? I don't think they can handle that. Let's just combine the two. Let's just combine the two laptops together then. Dedicate all the wham. It's not a bad idea, and I've played with a similar idea before. Seems to be an old music box. Okay, so I've got two music boxes. One of them that's working and the other one that's not. I don't under I don't know what the point is. How many bullets do I even have? Not a whole lot. Is that a grenade launcher? Grenade grenade rounds for my grenade launcher that I don't use. Oh no. Okay, you dead? Lol, you dead? You have Yu-Gi-Oh! fusion cards somewhere? <laughs> to sell them. I, def I, have, I have the money, I could do it. I just... I've played so much vanilla Minecraft that it just is not exciting to me anymore. So I like doing mods to explore new things. Meanwhile, I love vanilla Minecraft. <laughs> Abby loves vanilla Minecraft. I love going so, you know what, if you want to try and talk somebody into setting up a Minecraft server, she's the one that you need to convince. Picture postcard of antique clocks. The following verse is printed. Give your soul to the goddess. Put your hands together to pray before her. Is that like a, a puzzle? Like, put the, the hands of the clock together? Okay, I think there's a safe room over here. See, when I when I play Minecraft, I tend to like I'll be in creative and I'll use the commands to make weird things. Like I I got the urge to play it uh, like maybe 6 months ago on vanilla. And I went and the only thing I really made of significance was a uh a chicken stripper. I just had a. I made a stripper pole. I made a chicken, and then I wrote some command blocks and had them run on a loop, which basically just made the chicken slide up and down on the pole. And that's that's my contribution to to Minecraft. All right, so I need. I'm going to take my enhanced ammo, and I'm going to take my shotgun shells, because I need it. Uh, I should probably save. I think it's time to... No, I save relatively recently. I'll hold off on saving for just another minute. Let me go check why that door in the room above me is locked before I head into the next area. Little chick asks, I, "Is is Little Nas X a stripper?" I didn't think so.
Is there something in that in that drawer there? That was a little black speck. Oh, it's ink ribbons. Ah. Well, now that they've given me the extra ink ribbons, I'm kind of tempted to save. It's locked. The God of Time is etched under the keyhole. That's specific. All right. He wrote a stripper pole to hell in one of his videos. See, I just never got into his music. I listened to his one song, the the one that got him popular, Old Town Road, and that's about it. I tried listening to a couple other of his songs later, and I just couldn't get into them. I'm not the biggest fan of rap anyway, though. It's probably my least favorite genre of music. I like a lot of electronic, I like metal, I like uh, rock, I once in a while I'll get in the mood for country. Different from Old Town Road, some are okay. That zombie is on fire. Your health should not be that high for being on fire. I can't tell if he's alive or dead. There's something else in this room, though. Ooh! I can hear the, uh, the power of these shots. Okay. Let's take the rest of this, uh, take the rest of this gunpowder. Alright, so let's take a quick peek at the guide one more time. Now that I do have a grenade launcher, I still don't think there's really much I can do with A and B. Like, C, I basically need C to make grenade rounds. Otherwise, A and B are good just as they are. So, you know, I like handgun bullets. I like shotgun shells. We're going to get them both. Enhanced shotgun ammo. Oh, no, that's enhanced uh, handgun ammo. I like all the ammo I got. I like it a lot. It makes me happy. Fire enemies from Binding of Isaac. They have a lot of life for being on fire. You right. Someone has made a mess inside the drawer. Well, I take the clock tower key. Another key, clock tower key. The key ornamented with a clock part. It has a screw-shaped ornament to put a round-shaped object. It's a key ornamented with a clock part. Okay. What happens if I combine them? No. Okay. Can't combine them. Oh, there's more. Just kind of chilling out here. I'm glad that they were patient enough to just, like, wait. Crack and won't open. Oh, he's still alive. Not anymore. Is the other guy st actually dead? Because he died quick. Well, that's a just a lot of fire, ain't it? I can touch the fire without getting in trouble. Okay, that's kind of nice of them. This is—is is this my trolley that crashed into the wall here? All right, continuing our adventure here.
Uh, wait, no, I need to go through here. It's locked. Okay. So I'm missing something. Oh, wait a second. I bet this key that I have is to the top of the clock tower. Because I saw a keyhole up there as well. I will use the bezel key. I think I already have it. But I know it's a spooky game, too. And we see how well I'm handling Resident Evil 3. Will I go up the ladder? We're hesitantly, yes, I will. That's oh, a safe room. I will take your ink ribbon, thank you. Silver gear. Interesting. MT rounds. What does MT stand for? Special bullets that burst if anyone other than the user approaches. Thanks to the equipped sensor. Throw use oh the mine thrower, okay. Okay, so the gear goes in there. Alright, we're gonna put my extra shotgun shells in here. Uh, I have quite a few ink ribbons. So I might save again. Maybe I'll ring the clock. I mean, uh, should I? Music box with elaborate ornamentation. There are switches marked A to F. Operate the switches. Yeah. Move it up or down. Okay. I'm just going to make this sound as awful as I can. Okay. That one's the bad one. Do I know about Hand of Fate? I don't think so. What is that? I don't even need to go, like, that's already... Okay, so, we have now made this as bad as it can be. Play it. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I didn't unlock anything for that. I was kind of hoping that it would... Alright, fine. If I had an ink ribbon, I think I have 12. Just loaded up on ink ribbons. Oh, 
Oh wait, there, I'm I'm blanking. I will use the ink ribbon. You are correct. A hand of fate. It's a card game combined with a beat 'em up. Interesting. I do like card games. You have to tell me more. You have to to show me it in a little bit. Uh, you can send me a link to it. I'm sorry, I'm distracted because I have to go to the bathroom. So I'll be back in just a second. Hand of Fate. I'll have to take a look at that. I'm always looking for good card games. Alright. Okay, so all of that song is good. I've made it, I basically made it the exact opposite of what it needed to be. So I gotta move you up. I gotta move you up, and the rest of them need to be down. Play it. I did it. I did the puzzle. The Kronos chain. Okay, I think that's the key that's downstairs. My next question then is... What happens if I just put my gear in here? Nothing happened. But why? Do I have the incorrect gear then? Is that the problem? Alright, we'll put this gear away. I gotta put my ink ribbons away. I think we're going back downstairs. To the basement. Ho oh, hey. I don't know how much more I have left in this game. I don't know if I'm close. I don't know if I'm far. I don't know much about this game. The only thing I really knew about it going into it was that you play as Jill and you're getting chased by uh, Nemesis like the entire time. Already had. Yeah, I think Alien Isolation was given out for free during last Christmas when they were giving out all those games. Yeah, I think so. Alright. Don't need to use it right now. Yeah, you do. A chain made to adore a god of time. There's a small screw hole near the... Oh, wait. Okay, wait. There we go. No longer need it. I went through all the trouble of putting it together, and now I don't need it anymore. I'm pretty confident I remember it being one of the free games that we got for the Christmas. I don't like this hallway. This is this is very like Resident Evil 1 feeling, this hall. Ugh. Heck off. Are you still alive? One bullet's enough to kill a grown man. Yeah, I know these things ain't normal. <laughs> yeah, I also don't know if I really bought any games on Epic either. 
Alright, so I'm poisoned, so I'm gonna go back and grab those blue herbs. Because I think that this is like an infinite source of blue herbs, which is nice. Now, whether there are more spiders in that hallway, I don't know. I dealt with the two, got poisoned, and now here we are. I don't understand why there has to be mutant dogs and spiders and birds as well in every Resident Evil game. They seem to really enjoy that. I think there was also a snake in the first game. He seems to have died from poisoning. You don't say. Oh, look, a giant spider. I can't tell if I'm hitting him or not. How many bullets do I even have left? I got a good amount. Okay, now I'm hitting him. Are you dead? Lol, you dead? Okay, I'm out of here. I don't like those spiders. Alright. couple of people dead in the corner. Mercenary's pocketbook. September 26th. It's only been three hours since the mission started, but the team is down to me and Campbell. The number of the zombies is far greater than we expected. There is no hope left for this city. We have already injected the antibody for the virus, but I'm not sure that it will work. I don't know if I will survive. September 27th. <clears throat> we managed to reach the clock tower. Out of desperation, we robbed some wounded members of their weapons and used the surviving citizens as decoys. We were taught to do this in order to survive in the battlefield, but I never enjoyed it. However, a girl showed up at the clock tower before me. She is one of the survivors. She looks just like my sister before she starved to death. September 28th. I wanted to evacuate as soon as possible, but the girl didn't. Her father insisted that he wouldn't leave the city where his beloved wife rests in peace. I really wanted to save the girl, but Campbell said, All I care about is our lives. That's how I felt before, but now... The clock tower has become a dangerous place, and I don't want to make any more mistakes. Well, it looks like uh, an Umbrella Mercenary, and it seems that he died trying to shield someone's daughter. That's sad. Okay, that, I saw that before, those clocks. More mine rounds. I haven't used this thing, but I probably should since they're giving me ammo for it. A spare bell for the clock tower. It would take incredible strength to move it. You mean like Nemesis? I feel, I feel a tingly feeling that the Nemesis senses are tingling. Okay, I'm just checking everything before I do the obvious thing that this that this thing wants me to do. All right, so I gotta set this one to noon, don't I? Present goddess. There's a tray under the picture. Oh, present goddess. I don't have the goddess. No, it said the one with their hands together. This is the only one that has her hands together. So I'm going to take this. Let me read this uh, postcard again. The following verse is printed. Give your soul to the goddess. Put your hands together to pray before her.
Okay, so that one took the time back by three hours. So the Amber Ball is worth three hours. The Obsidian Ball is worth two hours. And the crystal ball is worth one hour. Okay. So if I'm trying to, to bring the hands together, can't I just, like, put the crystal ball in the future goddess place? Why is it worth two all of a sudden? Uh, chili jam? Yeah, that, I, I'm confused. Okay, so... Putting the crystal ball in here was worth two, when it was worth one before. Okay, the obsidian ball is worth four. Does that mean the Amber Ball is going to be worth six? Have I ever eaten chili jam? Or No, I have, I have not. I pretty much, whenever I eat jelly, it's pretty much always grape jelly. That's like the only kind I ever try. Alright, is that going to be worth six is my question. Okay, so the... The painting on the left will take back one unit. The one on the right will put forward two units. So now let's figure out what this one does. Do they not have high fructose coins? Oh dear. So that one went forward too. Is this only going to go forward one? There you go. Puzzle solved, right? Or do I have to do it with a ball in every option? With a ball in every one? Can I put them back? No, okay. Okay, so... Combination of sweet and spicy. I'll have to. I'm, I do have a recipe book that I've been working on that I actually really need to update. Can you remind me to update that? Thank you. Uh, and I do want to keep trying new things, so I might have to try it out. If you have a particular one that you know of, that you either make or buy. Okay, so let's do a little quick quick maths here. This one's worth- the crystal ball is worth one, the obsidian ball is worth two, the amber ball is worth three. That one takes back one unit per, this one takes forward one unit per, this one goes forward two units. So the one in the back needs to be and then I need to result in a net of forward one okay so I have to put the amber one on the left I have to put the obsidian one in the center And I have to put the crystal ball here, right? There you go. Ding dong. 
A golden gear. As soon as I take this, I'm going to get attacked by Nemesis. You okay? So what are you going to do now that you don't have those to test the high fructose corn syrup? Abby needs to try different foods because she's on like a she was on a restricted diet and she's working her way back up to other foods. And one of the things she needs to test now is whether she can tolerate high fructose corn syrup or not. Do you have any big stores? I mean, yeah, we have a Walmart and a Target. Although I try to avoid going to the Walmart as much as possible. Abby loves Walmart. Huh? You didn't when we first started dating. You've seen the light. There's a grocery chain in the Northeast called Wegmans, and I love Wegmans. That's where we do 90% of our shopping is at Wegmans. We only go to Walmart for the things that Wegmans doesn't carry. Like, there's a flavor of yogurt that I'm obsessed with. And I begrudgingly admit that Walmart has a better cereal selection. Way better. It's kind of, like, crazy. Alright, so do I have to combine the gold gear and the silver gear, or do I only need the gold gear? Let me grab the silver gear as well. There's nothing else in this apartment that has high fructose corn syrup? Yeah, okay, there we go. I did have to combine them. All right, we're going to save again. We're currently we're currently uh pretty high on the ink ribbon stock right now, so we'll save again. Can't find spicy pepper jam. Uh oh. You can always try and find a recipe. Yeah, that Stonewall Kitchen section. Yeah, I think so. What do you What do you eat with it though? There we go. To try it with peanut butter. I don't know. I like sweetness on my peanut butter and jelly. I don't know about spicy. Alright, so we're ringing the bell, which means that the evacuation should be arriving. I'm sure we're going to escape just fine, right? Bing bong, bing bing bong. It's still sweet and spicy. Ah, yes. The strobing effect. But hey, here's our helicopter. You're saved. Down here! Alright, it's. Finally over. Is Nemesis gonna drop? No, he's gonna shoot it down. What a dick. I'm just trying to escape, my dude. Yeah, that tends to be a pretty common theme. Oh, okay, I just got stabbed. Nice. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be very effective. Okay, he's alive after getting shot with a rocket launcher. Okay. Oh, you just made the rocket launcher blow up in his hands. My dude.
And he's still alive, but now he's on fire. I have to go see if I can take his gun. Carlos. Oh, no, he can still run, though. I don't think I have any choice here. I, like, I can't run. I think I can only fight. Well, at least we know, so let's try, let's try out this, uh, mine, mine thing. This seems like a good spot to try it. Time check. We still got about an hour to go. It was a quick fight. I kind of felt like I wasn't prepared to fight Nemesis right there, so yeah, I kind of, I kind of wasn't <laughs> expecting to win. I guess one of the big problems that I have with this game is that it's not clear when you're supposed to be running and what when you're supposed to be fighting. Okay, uh, let me grab my mine thrower. I don't know how this works, but we're gonna we're gonna test it out in the middle of battle, cause why not? Oh, I was I thought when does the cutscene kick off? Oh, did I not put the gear in? Did I just for, did I just neglect to put the gear in? Is that what's what, what's happening here? I didn't put the gear in. I see, I see. I see my mistake. Not gonna lie, it's pretty good with peanut butter. Man, I am hungry. I'm ready for food. All this food talk. I made uh, cheesy scallop potatoes last night. Pretty tasty. I'm probably gonna have more leftovers tonight. You don't have any ideas? Nah, it's okay. I I'm, I always get hungry around this time, which is weird because I I I don't know I was so full this afternoon even though I ate breakfast at like noon. Yeah, I don't know. I I stay full for a long time, and then I just like suddenly get hungry. It's weird. I wasn't able to go to the go exercise today though because I don't want to exercise if I'm not hydrated, and. I got to like 2 o'clock and I hadn't drank like any water. And so then I got my bottle. I'm like, alright, I got two hours to hydrate as much as I can. And I drank like a quarter of the bottle and I'm just sitting there full. I'm like, I can't get, I can't get through like two of these. Can I not skip? Okay, I can. Just took me a second. Skip. Stars. I don't know what that does. I think I'm dead, though. That's a really quick death. I don't like that. Drink a lot of water and you don't get hungry for a while. Yeah. I don't know. Drinking water makes me hungry. It makes you hungry? It also makes me thirsty. Because your body's finally realizing, wait, water is important. It'll like fill you up for half an hour and then suddenly you'll be like starving. I'm like, oh. Resident Evil. 
Like, I drink a smoothie, and then I'm full for the rest of the day. Okay, so the mine flower the mine thrower didn't seem to do very good for me. I'm gonna try the grenade launcher now. I'm also gonna grab another health. Drink a lot of water, yeah. Drinks a lot of Pepsi. I am just not a big fan of soda. I tend to just not drink soda. I just don't like the carbonation for some reason. It's always bothered me. Yeah, you always flat it, flatten it out too. It's probably a good thing that I don't like carbonation though, because ugh. Then I'm not drinking soda, I'm not drinking beer. I mostly just drink water and juice. Did I grab my ammo and then proceed to not grab the grenade launcher? I'm just realizing this now, that that's exactly what I did. Yep, that's exactly what I did. I'm also poisoned. So that's cool. Am I dead already? Nope, I'm alive. Nope. I need to heal. Oh no, I have virus on me. I have no more shotgun shells. All I have left now are my, is my pistol. My pistol is apparently effective. Ow. Reloading. Bad timing. Release me. Heck. Heard flat soda. Uh oh, Abby. Apparently, flat soda is blasphemous to Mike. It isn't completely flat, it's just, you know, not very bubbly. <laughs> tisk tisk, Abby. Resident Evil. I thought carbonated water and put it into pancakes for fluffiness. Oh my god. <laughs> Not very bubbly is flat. <laughs> no. Flat is like drinking water out of the tap. That's flat, flat. Which you also refuse to do. Yes. Tap water is disgusting. I, my favorite water is bottled water from Walmart, maybe. It's too there. Yeah, we have to go buy those bottles of water for her, or else she's like, I don't want to drink the water. Alright, let me remember to grab my grenade launcher this time, first, and then secondly, gotta grab my health. Okay, we got a grenade launcher. Let's see if we can figure out how to use it. What's up, my dude? 
I have ammo. I have health. He has a request for me, okay. Yeah, I, I thought I thought he made it sound like I forgot something. I mean, not that it's gonna really do me much good. I think I'm I'm gonna die here again anyway. I'm not even I'm not even entirely convinced I'm supposed to be fighting Nemesis here, but you never know. Uh, auto tune time. <laughs> All right, my dude, here we go. Auto tune fight against the Nemesis. Let's do it. We got this. I believe in the power of the auto-tune to take out this man. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try taking out one shot quickly. I like how I can't- I just have to stand here and wait for a second. Okay, I shot him. Run! Boom. Ah! Let go of me. I do not consent. Come on, get up. Before he grabs you again. Keep shooting! I don't know how to do these dodges, but I need to figure out how to do them more frequently. Stop me from taking stupid damage. Ow. Alright, now I'm going to manually reload. Like that. I'm gonna run now. Into a corner, apparently. He's still alive. Let go of me. I do not want to be dead. Oh, come on. Oh my god, I've been grabbed for the third time. Alright, I have another health. I'm going to use it. I'm kind of just guessing what my health is because I can't tell. He's dead. We did it! Man is dead. Never mind. I've been lied to. Keep dodging. No, 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 let go of me. I hate it. I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm about to get hit. That's what I... I don't know how I'm dodging, but I'm dodging. Is he dead? I'm seeing cutscene stuff. <laughs> Go away. I do not consent. <laughs> the gods of the auto-tune help me. As he goes into the fire like an idiot. There's no way he's actually dead, but I can always hope. Carlos. No. Ah, uh, he's alive. Just a little rocket launcher shot. Jill. <laughs> hey, don't die on me. All right, we're gonna turn off the auto tune now. Jill. It has served its purpose. October first, night. I woke up to the sound of falling rain. I can't believe I'm still alive. I also can't believe it. <laughs> you shouldn't be. <laughs> nah, you gave me the power. Uh, uh, uh. Carlos? It looks like our roles have been reversed from when we originally met, huh? Don't worry, Jill. This chapel is safe. I've been infected by the virus, haven't I? Hey! Take it easy. I'm okay. Don't feel any pain. But that's what bothers me. If I can't feel anything, then what does that mean? Don't give up, Jill. I'll take care of you. Whatever you do, don't let that virus beat you. Oh, now I'm playing as Carlos. If I turn into a zombie. Don't hesitate. I want your word that you'll kill me. 
exactly what the doctor ordered. What does Carlos have? An assault rifle with 100% ammo, plus a handgun and some ink ribbons. Okay. I mean, I, I have faith that this dude can... It's pretty strong. I mean, he managed to survive... Uh, Managed to survive a rocket launcher shot from Nemesis, so you know. Alright, we're gonna save. We still have time, so we'll keep on going. So where's Carlos gonna go, is my question. How much of my ammo have I used there? Okay, so... It's about 4% of my ammo to kill a zombie. So where am I gonna go? It's broken and won't open. I guess I only have one way to go. I don't know, they really enjoy the moaning with Jill. It's kinda weird. Oh, that's unfortunate. You know, I'd have more ammo to use here if you didn't waste it all shooting your friend. Alright, Carlos, where are we going now? Here, just shove enough blue herbs here into her until she's healed, right? Pillars are collapsed and the door won't open. Stairs are sealed off. The music box is covered by a painting, okay. I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of the music boxes down here were. For? Like, the puzzle was all contained up there. Alright, they're really just railroading you into a single place that you can go. Machine gun sounds like a good alternative to the crassy, crappy pistol. Yeah. Okay, so I can either go in there or in there. We're gonna go this way. Okay, yeah, alright. So there's a safe room here. This is the room that had the fiery zombies in it. Now it's got fiery doggies in it. Okay. They are dead. Anything else in here? Nope, the fire's still going. And now I have 61% of my ammo left. It's unfortunate. <sighs> oh, I'm so tired all of a sudden. I was doing fine. I just think I just need to drink some water. refreshing. Alright, I guess we're heading towards the creepy-ass area with the bell that I was convinced I was going to get attacked by Nemesis next to. Ah, dang it. Why am I getting reminded of the Passado from Final Fantasy X as I was shooting that? You're also dead. 
My ammo is now at 43%. We're doing great. It's exactly what we... the exactly position we want to be in. Alright, am I strong enough to move the bell? I can push it. Ooh, Carlos is strong. It is. It's just like in Pos the Posado attack in Final Fantasy X against the final boss that we were very amused by. Okay, hospital or park? Well, the park is closed off, so we're going to the hospital. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to run down this way. Let the zombies conglomerate together. Actually, I'm not even going to waste the assault rifle shot. We're going to... Getting out my crappy handgun. Okay, he is now in the way of me shooting the... I'm trying to shoot the barrel. There we go. I only used up, like, all of my shots, but fine. Locked with a simple lock. Okay, so we need Jill with her lock pick to open that door. Raccoon Park. It's the main gate of Raccoon Park. It's locked. Helpful. Huh. Alright, gotta get to the hospital, because that's they're definitely gonna have the cure to the virus there. Your guide to health insurance. Exciting. Oh, cool. Can you let me shoot you, please? I'm gonna die just because I, I can't shoot them. Oh, I'm dead. They decapitated me. Tell Carlos that he's stupid. Hey, a simple lock is enough to stop most people. I like how I pulled out my gun immediately to start shooting them, and they just kept... He would only get one shot off before they'd slice him, and then he'd just sit there and, like, stand there. Resident Evil. <sighs> That's annoying. died more times than I'd like to this stream. I only died once in the first one, and now I've died like six or seven times today. Oh, come on. I thought I could dodge it. I would like something to heal with, but I haven't seen anything... I haven't seen anything that I could pick up that would let me heal. Okay, we're through. I'm trying to... <laughs> Getting more comfortable. They're tactical resets. Yeah, you're right. That is the strat. Right now I'm just trying to conserve my ammo a little bit more so that I can use it more when I need it. Now you just get to see these guys vibrate more as I shoot them. Apparently that's not enough to, sh to get them. Okay. You did. How's my health doing? I got grabbed a couple times. It says I'm fine. Alright, Carlos with your big strong man arms.
That man is dead. We need to get a voice recording of Jordan doing that so I can make it a sound redemption on my stream. Oh great, I go into this fight already weakened. Nice. It's not letting me skip this. Okay, that worked out better. There we go. And I'm at 63% ammo. And this is bullshit. Hit him with the do you want to become famous. I will gladly, if I can get some nice recordings, I will gladly put them on there as sound, re as sound point redemptions. Alright, take these herbs, which by themselves are going to do nothing for me. Sturdy looking shutter. It is kept tidy. Even in the zombie apocalypse, tidiness is important. Cleanliness is next to godliness. I don't like that they're still undulating. I don't know what it is about dead bodies and not stopping moving. Alright, we are in... The curtain is closed and I can, cannot see the room next door. Various medicines are placed here. I'm not entirely sure what I'm here for, if I'm going to be honest with you. Carlos only has uh, only has eight inventory slots. He needs to get those those nice shoulder straps that uh, Jill has. An emergency light. At least we finally got something that'll let me heal. Numerous numbers of medical cards. Is there more? Is that another set of ink ribbons? All right, I'll save. Sure, why not? Do we have a quote from Zach? Uh, he doesn't really have a catchphrase, but he has pulled some great lines. He did. He had one not, uh, a couple sessions ago that was really funny, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, was it Oh Woman? Was that what? It might have been Oh Woman. Alright, so what's this room looking like? A voice recognition lock. Will you push the microphone button? Yes, please enter your voice. Ah! Didn't work. Oh look, a voice recorder! How handy! Portal tape recorder. A patient's diagnosis is recorded into here. Can't carry any more items. That's unfortunate. We're gonna... We're gonna use that. Why not? We'll have a party at Bar Jack. I wanna go to a party. Oh, is that the map? I think that's the map right there. Is that not the map just like hanging right there? Grab the map, Jack. I think Dabber just started making fun of him. I think the O oh Woman joke was actually from Riptide, because I think I gave him inspiration for it. Director's Diary, September 10th. These patients suffer from gangrene and congestion of their blood at first. Then their mind slowly deteriorates. In the end, there is nothing left of their mind. When that happens, even mercy killing seems pointless. After all, they are already dead. 
This disease... This diseases is unlike anything I have ever witnessed. Once the patient's mind is gone, they become flesh-hunger monsters and act like wild animals who are on some type of bloodlust. September 18th. Another patient has been admitted to the hospital. He is showing symptoms of the first stages of the disease at this point, but I haven't been able to sleep at all these past few days. I refuse to let these patients become zombies. I am not just an ordinary citizen, I am a doctor. Even if I die, my clinical charts will contribute to finding a cure. September 26. We lost most of the doctors and staff during the battle against the zombie patients. It's impossible to maintain the hospital under these conditions, and I know that it's too late for me. I am beginning to feel that same itchy and hungry desire that all of my patients felt. It's too late for me. Rip Director. His neck has been devoured from the inside out. What the hell? That doesn't sound like a usual... Please enter my voice. There also appears to be a slight fracture in his right arm just below the elbow. However... Handy. I do not have the tape recorder anymore. Up we go. I think anyway. Which floor will I move to? Okay, let's go to... B3. Check the basement first, why not? Hand trucks and old observation devices. Going in to shaft type M. Oh no, this is just like uh, Resident Evil 2 now. Beakers and flasks. Extreme caution is needed when handling chemicals. I oh! no idea another guinea pig was still alive. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? Sometimes it's easy to forget one's loyalties. Just like that traitor. You mean the guy who shot you? Yeah, you know him. The one with the gray hair and the ugly mug. I can't believe he had the guts to shoot me. That traitor! You mean Nikolai? Ah! Nope. That man is very, very dead. <laughs> Bottles of various viruses and other things. So Nikolai's alive, which I kind of predicted. I feel like he blew himself up or faked his own death. I think that was purposeful. Is there really nothing in here for me to take? Alright, I guess we're going to the next room. Stress does to people. Hmm. 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 I don't like this room. Medium base. Material used to create the cultivation medium needed for the vaccine creation. It creates the vaccine cultivation medium combined with several chemicals. Okay, so we got one of the chemicals we need. Seems as they were creating chemicals of some type here. How convenient that we just kind of stumbled our way into wherever they were making this vaccine. Stimulate your senses. <laughs> Medical Instruction Manual, Umbrella Medical Service, North America Division, Douglas Rover. In order to activate the synthesizer to cultivate the vaccine, please follow the procedure as detailed below. One, supply enough energy to the system. Two, set the medium base to the device. When the device is ready, you can start mixing the vaccine medium. To mix the vaccine, you will need 
to control the five levers. This will cause the two gauges to increase or decrease. If you adjust the two gauges so that they stop at the center, the vaccine medium will then be produced automatically. How handy. So that even an idiot like me can make it. Can I just, like, preemptively shoot this... This tank? Please? No, of course it's bulletproof. Unknown creatures are in the fish tank. We all know what's gonna happen. They're gonna burst open, they're gonna try and kill me, just like the ones that were out in front did. High precision microscope. <sighs> I'm not looking forward to this. A synthesizer of chemicals. Medium base can be set here. Okay, sure. Here, have a medium base. I don't know when these things are going to attack me, but I know they're going to. Will you operate the synthesizer? Sure. One. Okay, so... I don't think B is. I'm just kind of. I'm just kind of guessing here. Let's go with two. Hey, I'm getting really lucky with these puzzles, my dude. We have a vaccine now. Nothing more. Can I turn the power back on so that these things won't come out and attack me? Or is that just too sensible? Oh, look! What a surprise! Can I just leave? Nope, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay for my actions, too. I'm not quite at the time where I need to use this. Now I am. One of them's still alive! Please be dead. Okay. I got scared. Are you dead? Can I have your ammo? Alright, so I did the basement. I'm guessing I need something else uh, from the top floor to finish the vaccine. And then I can return to Jill. What's my ammo situation? 50%? Not bad. I have my handgun as well if I need it. Alright. We are going to the fourth floor. Oh. Hey, Kaz. How are you doing? Hope your Thursday is going well. Hope you're looking forward to the weekend. I appreciate the lurk as always, my dude. Keeps the stream live. Right now, I'm just trying to avoid wasting too much of my assault rifle ammo. I would have liked to not get bit there, but it's okay. I want to see what the layout of this area is. Doesn't look good. 
There's a lot of areas to go into, and I'm sure one of that it's not all good. Ah, snakes! Get off of me. Am I poisoned now? No, okay, good. Something seems to have been placed here. A doctor's body. He's holding a slip. The numbers 104 are printed on the slip. Okay. Well, green herbs, so that's awesome. I'll take those. Something seems to have been placed here. Are you are you going to tell me what any of these things are? Or are you just going to say something? Or are we playing the pronoun game? Okay, I guess that's all that's in here is some herbs, which I'm not upset about. I needed the herbs. Be careful not to overuse the medicine. It's locked. The sign reads 402. What is this big glowing thing that my head is currently phasing through? I can't examine it. Make sure that you return the materials to their original positions after inspection. More ammo. Oh! What the fuck? I just need that. I just need the, the John Tron. I think that's I think that's his name. What the fuck clip for right there? That's some booty. That, that's some booty cheeks right there. Heavy, heavy sigh for losing that progress there. Now I can grab the map. Okay. Can let me grab it earlier. There also appears to be a slight fracture in his right arm just below the elbow. However, <sighs> Frustrating. Oh, I got it. I was waiting for the elevator. No, I need to. Okay, I guess we're going to the top floor first. I was going to go do the basement again, but I guess we're going to the top floor first. Apparently, you don't get attacked by the zombies if you go to the top floor first, which I'm going to take to mean I'm going to get attacked by zombies when I go to the basement now.
325 now, so the numbers have changed. And there, there are no herbs here. Everything is different now. No green herbs. And the number says 325 now. This is weird. Let me check and see if this door down here says the same number. Yeah, okay, 402. That's the same. Alright, so. There's a monster in here. Never mind. Nikolai? You're still alive? You saw what happened? What's going on? I'm one of the supervisors. That's all you need to know. Wait! <laughs> Nikolai just got yeeted out of the... <laughs> he yeeted out of the window. Well, I guess we get to see a completely different set of events now. Appears to be a book on general medicine. Take the sick room key. Yeah, I'll take that. Photo D. The zombies are walking. It says the effect of the T-virus on the backside. Unknown creatures are soaked in formalin. Cardboard box with chemicals in it. Alright, I've got the sick room key now. Well, now I'm nervous about getting jumped by anything around any corner. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything in this room, because my auto-aimer is not going for it. Okay, so I can push this. For what purpose? How do I, can I, is there a way to pull this? This is the Final Fantasy X pushing puzzle all over again, and I hate it. So I can't, I don't know which corners I can get it into. I can push it a little bit over this way. And then go down this way. I don't know which corner I'm supposed to be aiming for this to go. Bob, stepping all over the tet. How do you turn it into light mode? I don't understand. This isn't the first time you've done this. I don't understand how he does it. Bob. 
job. Why you gotta do this to me? Preferences, dark theme. Put it back, because this thing won't last long if I have it on light theme. He just wants all the attention right now. Alright. So, am I putting this in the right corner or the bottom? Something seems to have been placed here. Yeah, that's not helpful to me. Which corner am I pushing this into? Apparently that corner. Uh, wasn't it 325? The vaccine base. Got it. So now that I have the vaccine base, I'm going to go and I'm going to save. So that, I, because the basement's probably going to be different. I keep forgetting I have to manually click the buttons. Yes, baby boy, I know. You just want attention, don't you? Get off! They're all dead. We're gonna go and save again. Because I don't want to die after doing all that work again. Let's go get whatever let's go get the vaccine back from the basement. Okay, so no zombies, but on the top floor, I got attacked by a random claw monster. So now I get the feeling... Okay. Large machines are built into the wall. This thing was on the top floor the first time I was there, and now it's here. So whatever was going to happen on the top floor is now going to happen down here. I don't like this. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. Is there a second one? I think I see one back there. Oh, you ninja man. I don't want to get any closer to you. I can do ninja moves too, my dude. Are you dead? I think so. I think I see the blood. It's sealed with a complicated lock and it cannot be opened. Yeah, that's because it's got a bomb in it. I have no room for this. Oh no. Alright, we're going to heal. And then we're going to take these and combine them both. All right. I 
anything else in here abnormal? Or is it the same? Okay, so I wonder if they changed the switches. Hey! Muppy Chikorita. Pet Bob, I will gladly. How are you doing, baby boy? Thank you very much for the follow. How's your day going? Gotta take some time to pet the boy now. Which is good, because he was coming here for affection. Do I talk Spanish? I'm afraid I do not. Uh, I'm afraid I do not speak Spanish. I speak English. Uh, my girlfriend. Also does not speak Spanish. It was her. Language. It was your first language. Show me what you got. <laughs> Show me what you got. Uh, I got. I got hola. I've got. Uh, adios. I got cuidado. Watch out. I got that one. I got gato. It's gato, right? Yeah. Yeah, right, there we go. Ducha de leche. Huh? Mantequilla. That one's butter. I know that one. Queso. Quesadilla. I find it very amusing still that every time that you say a food, you say it with a Spanish accent, but everything else you say with a... She, 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 she'll speak totally just no accent whatsoever. And then all of a sudden she's like, but I really like jalapeno. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> okay, so. I think I have this backwards. I think it needs to be this one. There we go. I, I died. So I'm, I'm redoing this puzzle once again. All right, I've got the vaccine base and the medium. Can I combine them? I've got the vaccine. All right, we got it. Now we're going to get attacked by these dudes as soon as I get to this corner. Oh, boy. Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. I think they're dead. <laughs> I'm leaving now. <laughs> Run! <Right. laughs> Now, now I'm heading into uncharted territory. So these things weren't here the first time. These red things on the wall, and I'm concerned. I don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> so I'm a little bit nervous. But now we have officially entered uncharted territory. Oh, God. Oh, are those explosive? Is that what it is? I'm... Kill him. How's my health? I took two hits there and I'm fine. I just shot and there was an explosion. I think that the thing on the wall exploded. I don't know why it exploded. But it did. Alright. Now that we have the vaccine, we can go... Thank you for laying on top of my, my tablet here, baby boy. Now that we have the vaccine, we can go return it to Jill. And, looking at the time, I don't have a whole lot of time left on my stream. But, we will at least get this vaccine over to Jill. So that she doesn't immediately die of the virus. But, while I may be ending my stream very soon, I believe I will be able to finish this game the next time I play it. Which will be exciting. And then we can move on to the next game. And, uh... Moopy Muppy Chikorita, if you'd like to try, you can uh, vote at my, uh, I, I run polls for people to decide which game I play next. And since I'm finishing this game soon, uh, if you'd like to vote for a game, 
uh, I would love more feedback from people to figure out what games to play. Why are there explosives here? It seems to be a time-based bomb. Get out. <laughs> Escape. <laughs> Run. <laughs> I love the flashing strobe effect. Come on. Run, Carlos, run! And the entire thing went down. Hey, Lionel Onico. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it very, very much. Uh, I'm afraid that you've caught me at the tail end of my stream here. But... The follow it means very much, and I'll be streaming again on Sunday is my next streaming day. Oh no, what's happening now? I do need to get uh, this vaccine over to Jill before I end my stream, but... Yeah, what's up, Nella Nella? How are you doing? I hear undulating? Is something getting eaten? Ah, yes, a person. Oh, a girl. That's unfortunate. We're just gonna let we're just gonna let them enjoy their meal. Don't bother them too much because my ammo supply is a little low. Oh no. Okay, no more monsters in this hallway, which is always nice. We don't need too many monsters. Jill isn't far. I think I've got like three more rooms to go. Are, are we? Is it gonna just be smooth sailing? Why do I feel like it's not gonna just be smooth sailing? Oh, you're still alive, I see. Can I run, please? Run, <laughs> run, boy, run. <laughs> we all knew he wasn't dead. The game is named after him. Of course Nemesis isn't going to be dead. Yeah, I figured he was going to follow me in here. Ooh, I don't know how I dodged that, but I dodged it. I don't like this. I don't like getting chased. It's not fun. Run. 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 Run, 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 run. Jill, help me. I know you're on your deathbed, but help me. Let me just lead the giant monster straight to you. I'm sure you've got it handled, right? Hey, 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 hey. Vaccine, here, have it. No, I'm, I'm, I don't, I, I kind of do need to use it right now. Why, why the moaning? Hey, are you okay? Yes, barely. What's going on? No way! That monster just doesn't give up! What? I thought we killed that thing! Oh, you thought wrong. No, it's been waiting for you! I like how it, it's patiently it's waiting Carlos. outside. Carlos, do you think that it's unstoppable? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry, Jill, but I've got to go take care of a few things. Oh, and bad news. Nikolai is still alive. Nikolai? Are you sure? Yes. I don't know how, but I do know that he is our enemy. Remember, don't trust him. Wait, can you give me can, can you give me the stuff that you collected? No? Okay. Alright. We're gonna save. And then we're gonna we're gonna leave it at that for the day. But I believe that we are maybe a couple of, I think we got about a couple hours left in the game. I think there's enough for me to do one more stream of the game and finish it. So that's going to be my goal, is to finish Resident Evil 3 next time. Uh, so before I end up getting completely eviscerated by Nemesis here, uh, I want to thank everybody for stopping by my stream today. I had a lot of people stop by today. I had the, the raid from Content Bacon. Big thank you to you, my dude. Uh, I'll be finishing Resident Evil 3 on Sunday. And then on Monday, I'll be playing finishing Bro Force with Content Bacon. And then Tuesday is when I will be starting the next game that's currently being run on my poll. 
at the moment, Secret of Monkey Island is in the lead, followed by Dragon Quest. Uh, and then there's also Hello Neighbor and what's Heavy Rain is the fourth game on there. So uh, people, please keep voting for it. Uh, I love getting big numbers on the poll so I can see what games people are interested in, which ones people are less interested in. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, so that's going to be it for me today. Thank you once again to everybody. Uh, let me take a quick peek here. Oh, yeah. We're definitely going to try and hit somebody with a raid. Uh, so I'm going to take a look and see who's online. If I don't have anybody, I'll ask you guys if you have anybody where I can send the love over. Uh, but that's going to be it for me today. Stick around for the raid. Uh, I'll see you guys on Sunday. Bye-bye.